Hi class, uh, right now I'm going to show you how to create a file so you can save your images that you're going to use in your project. So the first thing you're going to do is open up um, the little file icon at the, on the bottom taskbar. Now yours will look a little different. Your student drives will have your class here on the left. Of course, find your name. Uh, double click your name to open it up after you open up your personal student file you want to create a new folder for your images so come up to the top click new folder and it's going to allow you to change the name just uh, name it images for slideshow now when you hit enter it creates that folder so if you double click on that file there it takes you to an empty folder because we haven't saved anything yet. So let's let me show you how to save images to that folder you just created. What I'm going to do is do a Google search and I'm just going to for this example use search fireworks. And you can do either, uh, two things, click images here at the top or click images right here. I'll start clicking images at the top and it takes you to the screen with uh, countless pictures of fireworks. Now you have to be careful not to violate copyrights. There's there's laws that say that people people's work are protected. So to um, to be mindful of that is to make sure you don't violate any copyrights. Uh, I'm going to show you a little trick. Go here to search tools and right here it says usage rights it opens up uh, a little menu of different options go ahead and click labeled for reuse with modification now these images are now um, they are already available for you to use and there's no worries about uh, copyright uh, issues so now you find it when you find a picture you want i'll just do this very first one you click on it to open up this window once you right click it you want to go to save image as okay now you go and find the folder you just created so Yours will be under your uh, student file. There's mine. There is my images for slideshow folder I just created. Double click that. Open it up. There's empty right now. And I want to name it. I'm just going to name it Fireworks 1. When I save, it downloads that fireworks right into my file so if I open it up again there's my there's my um, folder I created and right here's that fireworks one I just saved so that's all you have to do I'll do one more image to show you again this time staying under labeled for reuse with modification I'm gonna search maybe just a lake now all these images are labeled for reuse. It's okay to use these images. So once again, I'll click on the image I want to see. It'll open a preview window. If I choose that image, right now it's still loading. You can tell by this little gray bar at the bottom when that's moving. What you want to do is right click if you want to save that uh, image go to save as save image as and right now it's leading me right to my folder because I've already been using it I'm gonna just label it lake and click save and it saves it down to my file so if I come down here to the bottom taskbar open up my file again in that folder I created images for slideshow there's the lake there's the fireworks so you can use this process to 
save as many images as you need for your slideshow presentation, make sure you change this. I'll show you once again. When you go to images, you want to go to the search tools. Come down here where it gives you this option. Search tools. You want to go to usage rights and choose labeled for reuse with modification. Then once again these are all free uh, and safe to use um, without violating copyrights. If you have any questions make sure you ask me or you can replay this tutorial to, to view it again.